What is SEO writing? How should I write for SEO? What do I have to do to rank? You just have to follow these three steps in the video. Trust me, it's easier than you think. Step one, what should I write about? Step two, what content should I add about this thing or keyword? And step three, how can I make Google understand the content I've just written? And then I have the bonus tip, like always, at the end of the video. Let's go. Psst. What should I write about? You have to write about things that people are interested on and that they search for in Google. That's the whole logic of SEO. Mm, and how? You have to think about a topic that you want to write about. There's no SEO technique here. It's more of a thinking exercise. Once you start to think about a topic you want to write about, you're going to come up with some words and keywords. This is exactly what we want. I have a client that is an international football academy and I thought, who could be these potential clients for my client? Obviously, kids. What could the kids willing to join a football academy be searching about? So I thought, my topic is going to be about football academies. You could be talking about how to extract honey, how to make a cup of coffee, types of lawyers, whatever it is. Now that you have your topic keyword or keywords, because sometimes you can come up with more than one, you need to put them through a tool that is going to tell you the search volume. It's also going to suggest you similar keywords. Similar. All the tools I'm going to speak about in this video are free and the links are in the description. I'm going to bombard you with free tools. The first tool is Moz Free SEO Account. All you have to do is add your keyword to the tool, add your target country, and then analyze. Remember, the keyword you're using is just a general keyword. Here you will get data about the specific keyword, but what we want is to go to the keyword suggestions. You're gonna get a lot of suggested keywords about this topic, which is exactly what we want. Now I want you to go to these keyword suggestions and export them. Export CSV, and it will download down here. <laughs> Finally. By the way, guys, when I was recording, when I was recording this video, I did a little mess with my face and it's, the exposure is a bit, a, bit, a bit messed up. But please don't go, don't leave the video, because if you go, I will see it in the analytics. I will see it. Let's continue with the video. Now, what you have to do is add all these exported keywords into a Google Sheets. Here's the sheets I always use that you can download in the description and, and just add all the keywords here. Once you've done this, you're going to get a huge list of keywords relevant to the topic of football academies or whatever topic you chose with the keyword volume or the amount of times people search for it every month. Bonus tip. As you can see, these tools are free, but sometimes they don't give you the search volume. So this is a trick to see the search volume of any keyword. Just download this free SEO extension, link in the description, and you will get this little box in the Google search. As an example, let's type our keyword, football academy, and you can see right here that this keyword is searched a thousand times a month in the United States. This is approximately. Just simply copy any of the keywords that you don't have the search volume, add it to the Google search, and you will get a rough estimate of the amount of searches. Nice trick, huh? <laughs> now, from all these lists, you need to go one by one and establish which ones are relevant to what you want to write about. In my case, looking through my list, I saw that this keyword, how to get into a football academy, is quite interesting. It has searches, and this is something that, with my knowledge, I know that my potential clients could be searching for. And now I know that my article is going to be about how to join a football academy, how to get into a football academy, all these things, how to enter, blah, blah, blah. But when you do this, you're gonna get a question that is quite, quite, what's the word? Common. Should I make an article on its own about a specific keyword, for example, this one, or should this keyword be part of an article about something bigger, a broader term? topic or keyword. <laughs> and I have the solution to your answer with a very simple tool. The tool is a duplicate checker and what it does, it compares one SERP or search results page with another one. You can also download it in the description. It's just simply a Google Sheets. Search the keyword that you are wondering about in Google search. Then I want you to save or scrape the first 10, 20 results. To do this, use another free tool. I told you I'm gonna give you a lot of free tools. <laughs> you know where the link is. Search the keyword, save the results, scrape them and paste them in one of the columns in the tool. Now do the same with the keyword that you have chosen. In this case, how to join a football academy and paste the 10, 20 results in the tool. Doing this, when the results become red, it means that this specific website shows up when they type football academy trials and when they type how to join a football academy. 
If you see many red cells, it means that the websites are ranking for both keywords, which will mean that football academy trials should be a topic in the bigger picture of how to join a football academy. And if you don't see many reds, like in this case, it means you should make a specific page about football academy trials because Google is deciding to rank different websites for different keywords. It's treating them like two completely different search intentions. Now you have established your keyword, what you want to rank about. So step number two, what should I write about this topic then? Um, yeah, you have to write something more, more valuable, more insightful than your competitors so you can outrank them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed that in my last video, I remember. But anyway, let's get into it. First step, again, is use your head. Think about what things could people searching about how to join a football academy could want. How can you bring value? Try to imagine that you are that person, you are the potential client, and try to think of the needs, the questions you will have when you search for this. And what specifically could you see in an article that when you search in Google, read the whole article, and you're finished, you're gonna be like, wow, I literally know exactly what I was looking for, even more, even things that I didn't even know about. That's your job. So first, thinking exercise. Then, search your king keyword in Google and scrape, you already know what scrape, I said it, <laughs> the top 10 results. I want you to add these 10 results, 10 websites, in the on page tab of the sheets I've just gave you that you have downloaded in my website in three seconds. And I want you to go through each of these websites and copy all of their titles below. Okay, so why should I do this? It's very simple. Because you want to see straight away in your screen what the top 10 results are writing about this specific topic. We established the topic, now we establish what are the top 10... What? When you see this straight away in your screen, it's very simple to see patterns, patterns of things that they are writing about, so you should definitely add them, or things that they might not even write about, which is exactly what you want. So you can add them to your article. All these things, patterns, thoughts that you get while you analyze it on your screen, I want you to add them in this column here, page content. So in this page content column, you're gonna have things that you think are relevant and things that the top 10 results, which Google has decided that they are the best, think they're relevant and you add it. It's a bit like stealing, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> and now we're gonna do more stealing, actually. I forgot about this point. Now I want you to get these 10 top websites and one by one put them in this tool. You have it already. I want you to add the actual URL here. Make sure that you choose exact page. And what, it what this tool is going to give you is more information. It's gonna tell you what keywords is this page ranking about. Once you do this for the 10 websites, you might see things, keywords, topics that you didn't think about adding to your article. And if they are ranking for it with that specific page, it means you can do two. So just add them. Add it new. So now, as a writer that you might be, or as an SEO like me, because I did SEO and I had to write too, you have exactly what you want, all the information you need to write an article. So yeah, write the article. I'll be waiting. Done? No, 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 wait, don't write yet. How can we add the SEO power? How can we make Google understand our article better? Come on, man, I'm chilling in the sofa, I'm reading about rice. What you have to do is to make sure that, like you said, Google understands your page. And to do that, you have to make sure that your SEO on page is on point. <laughs> I told you not to say it. <laughs> oh! With this thing, it doesn't get as easy as this. You just have to download my checklist of things you have to do or SEO on page, like he said, to make sure it passes the SEO standards and that Google can understand the page better. The reason why I make a checklist is because there's a lot of different points and you can always have it in hand when you write any article from now in the future. So you just download it in my website. It literally takes five seconds. I've timed it. And are you going to tell them about the newsletter? About the newsletter? Oh yeah. I Actually, you say it. I'm doing all the talking here. Okay. The newsletter is the <laughs> it's a weekly SEO newsletter. And there I add the SEO resources, articles and videos I have used myself to learn SEO that week. It's genuinely very helpful if you want to learn SEO and it's something that I would have loved to have when I was learning it. So yeah, it's very easy to join. Like I said, five seconds <laughs> and you love it. Boom. Nice, nice. You, you sold me on it. 
Some of these points are adding relevant images with keywords in the title and in the alt text. Structure your article with titles and subtitles surrounded by a HTML tag called H. Try to add keywords to these titles. Use bullet point lists. If the title is a question, try to answer it straight away after the title. So the probability of getting a feature snippet become higher. A bit of information about your meta titles and how to make sure that they're not cut by Google or truncated. We say truncated, truncated. I say cut. To add links to important and reputable websites and how to deal with the internal links in your article. As I said, I don't want to bore you with each specific point. You just literally have to download the checklist and do what it says. What a nice guy I am, eh? I make a checklist and everything nice and simple. Boop. You need to like the video. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love doing this. And now you can finally write your article. So boom, write it. Now I'm going to wait. I'm serious. There's no any more things. Done. That was fast. Wow. That was fast. So there's a bonus tip. Like always in my videos at the end, I have a bonus tip. Guess what it is? Another free tool. Boom. This tool is actually from Google themselves and it's called Google natural language. I think all you have to do is copy the whole content you have written in your Word document, for example, and paste it in this tool. And what the tool is going to tell you is information about your text, the feeling of it, the words you are using, but most importantly, what the tool thinks your text is about. Why this tool is very important is because it's from Google themselves and they use this technology in their algorithm to understand texts, 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 to understand texts. So long story short, you just have to copy your text and see if Google sees that your article is about what you want it to be about. In my case, how to join a football academy, football, sports, all these things. And another one I just thought about now is the Yoast, uh, another, another free tool, I didn't say, is the Yoast free SEO tool. Once you've done this, once you go to your website to do it, I use Elementor to make websites or in WordPress. Before you're going to press upload, like before, before, Download the US SEO plugin that you probably have it actually, because it's very popular. And it will tell you some SEO on page recommendations. So it's like an extra layer to make sure your article is SEO powered. And now with all these filters, you literally remember before this video, you had nothing. And now through all these little steps, these little filters, you have an article that is going to rank. I'm telling you because it has happened to me with many different clients. I've been watching some videos about how to grow on YouTube and I've been told not to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel, not to do it. I don't say it. <laughs> so that's it. As you're writing, now you know what to do. I have so many videos coming out of this style, just telling what I do and in an enjoyable way. So yeah, make sure you, oh no, I can't say it. <laughs> you know what to do. Peace.